Vanessa. The prophet told me this following things is a secret, okay? Don't tell anyone. The account of Suleiman. <laughs> Here, speaking about the, fly, the flying carpet, by the way. They start speaking about the flying carpet. And then they speak about the flying horse. And then if we go, let us say, let's search for the ring. Hold on. Suleiman army was about 10 barsakh. 3,500 3, mile long. <laughs> How long? <laughs> And 500 mile long? Are you sure? <laughs> and look, they have the percentage too. 25 percent, they were a human. Uh huh. And 25 percent, they were genie. Like what the heck? And then 25 percent, they are from the desert animal. Like what? And then 25 percent, they are birds. <laughs> thousand houses of a glass houses of a glass were made above the world in them 300 wives 700 slave girls lived Suleiman used to order a strong wind to lift the house and order the soft wind to move the house slowly. Therefore Allah revealed to him when he was between the heaven and the earth, I have increased your kingship in such a way that if anybody is sick in any part of your kingdom, the wind will make his conversations reach toward you. Brother, if a guy, he was kissing his wife in the darkness of the night, saying to her, can you take off your panty? Suleiman will hear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> If a wife, she said to her husband, Did you just fart it? Suleiman will hear it. Because anyone speak in the kingdom, the conversations will come to Suleiman. That's deep. That's really deep. I mean, that's really, really deep shit. You <laughs> know, excuse me. <laughs> If, uh, like, what the heck was this, man? I mean, this is endless comedy. Okay. The Talabi Talabi narrated that when Suleiman traveled on immovable equipment, he used to take along with his household, his army and servant, his accountant and his scribe. They used to sit in the roof next to each other at one corner. <laughs> at one corner. At the roof. <laughs> Oh boy, one day he traveled from the outer skirts of Shiraz. Shiraz in Iran? Suleiman was here? Like, what the heck? Toward Yemen, like what? He went, to, he was living from Shiraz. He wasn't Persian. 
toward Yemen and past the Medina. Look, he was, he fly over the Medina. He say, hello, Medina. At that time, there was Medina. Suleiman said, this is the place of al hijrah <laughs> of the last prophet. <laughs> What a good person he is he. Hold on. What a good person is he? The guy is not even born yet. Uh, uh, anyway. <clears throat> he who will believe in him and follow him. When he was passing in Mecca, he saw the idols in the, at the Kaaba, around the Kaaba. On seeing Suleiman the Kaaba started weeping. <laughs> <laughs> Allah asked Kaaba why it was whipping. The Kaaba was whipping. Sorry, not sorry, man. The Kaaba start whipping, brother. Brother, this is normal. The Kaaba start whipping. Why? Because Suleiman is flying in the sky. Ah, okay. Allah, he said to the Kaaba, why you are whipping, huh? You didn't know Allah. You did not know why the Kaaba is whipping because Allah is ignorant, as you know. The Kaaba, she said to Allah, O Creator, one of your prophet and his people passed by me. Neither did it stop nor perform prayer near me. <laughs> what a true story, by the way. This is a true story. <laughs> so the man, he said to him, Shall I help you and uh, return and return of two fish? The man agreed. So Suleiman, he helped him. Uh, in catching the fish, so here he is catching, not carrying. But different story he's carrying. The fisherman gave him two fishes as his wages. Suleiman thanks Allah when he cut open the fish, he found the ring in the stomach of the fish. <laughs> and look what happened. He kept it aside and thanks Allah. Then he cleaned the fish and brought it home. The wife become very happy. What, what wife? He left his wife in the in the, the. This is the king. He have hundreds of wives. What wife? He cleaned the fish and brought it home. The wife became so happy and said, "I wish to call my parents and show them that you have worked hard and earned sustenance." And this fish was cooked. And Suleiman called his in-laws, and they ate from the fish. So the whole family came to eat from the fish because it's a big fish. And then from Suleiman, Suleiman said to them, Would you recognize me? They said, No, we haven't seen you at all. Suleiman took out the ring and wear it. And at the moment, all the birds and the jinn come to him and become obedient to him, acknowledging his kingship. You see what a ring can do? <laughs> Commercial break in 10 seconds. Do you see what a ring can do? Whenever he used to wear it, the genie, the human, the birds, the animals, they obey him. Commercial break. Order now. Hello, Habibis. Would you like to have a salmon ring and uh, declare your brotherness in the sea? Would you like to have a human, animal, a bird, uh, and a genies to obey you? Then go to Patreon and order www.patreon.com uh, Also, we give the fish, uh, the, 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 the ring he came out from his belly for free. So you can have nice dinner with your father-in-law and mother-in-law and all your family. We have a limited stocks only. Please don't miss out. Approved by Allah. And then the Muslim, they want to find Muhammad in Isaiah 42. <laughs> Honest to God, my back hurt me. I need to go. I better go. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord bless you. Please download the video immediately after we finish. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and we will see you soon again. Thank you. Take care.